Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday. And this is going to be pile on Monday, so to speak. Um, we have news, and it just hit me uh, that Derek Carr has or will be signing with the New Orleans Saints. Um, he won't actually sign the contract until next week when the league year starts, but you basically have the frameworks and things in place because you can sign free agents because they are not attached to any other team. Uh, you could um, go ahead and get that stuff and basically say, we got it together. We'll make it official next week on the 15th. Um, don't know how much per year that deal will be, but it sounds like it's going to be a four year deal. Understanding that his last contract was for $40 million a year. I can't see him knowing that multiple teams wanted him between the Carolina Panthers, as well as the New York jets, that it was a bidding war between the three of them. Um, it's kind of interesting because originally the Raiders had let him go out and say, go make a deal for a trade. And he basically said, you know what? Trading doesn't help the team I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and I will just go out and find me a team that I want to go to. And you're just going to have to cut me. Just going to cut me. That way... I'll have some draft picks that they'll be able to use to help surround me by talent. So he played that pretty much perfectly. Um, but here's the interesting thing, because here's what we get from Jerry Jones and crew, and Jerry Jones has been called out. Jerry Jones has truly been called out for his statements, because We've been told, or at least recently, in the last couple of days, Jerry Jones basically saying, when you're paying a quarterback, you can't surround them with talent. You can't have players to go around them and stuff, you know? And, of course, you can't be against the cap. Well, here's an interesting take here, as I pile on and call Jerry Jones's bullshit. Let's take a look at the salary cap situation right now. From the bottom up, right now, the Buccaneers are in the worst shape, $56 million in the red. They're going to have to cut a bunch of contracts to get back up under and be able to do some things. The Chargers, $20 million over the cap. They've got some work to do. New Orleans, $18 million. Now, I want you to keep in mind that last year this time, they were some $68 million. $68 million in the red. It didn't preclude them from signing people last year. And it's not precluding them from signing Derek Carr. I would imagine that if Daniel Jones is asking for $48 million, if that's what we believe is true, and the rumors are that he's getting uh, a deal that's going to be over four, four years over $160 million, that Derek Carr has got to be at least $45 million, maybe more because having three teams that wanted him, they were able to sign him or are able to sign him even though they're in worse cap space than the Cowboys. Here it was last year. We actually had cap room. And see, what teams did, what teams did was they recognized that the salary cap will continue to go up. And so it behooves you to make the deals now and lock them in and kick the money down the road because you know that, say, next year you'll have another $20, 25000000 million to spend. The Cowboys, instead of playing that game, because mind you, Guys like Von Miller and um, Bobby Wagner and Zadarius Smith. Those guys' cap number last year combined were only $10 million. And I dare say, had the Cowboys made three moves, three moves, wide receiver, an offensive lineman, and a linebacker, we could have been in the Super Bowl. That three positions would be the difference of us falling short in the playoffs and getting over the hump. 
So Jerry Jones, who's always talking about, you know, if there's a player out there that could make us better, yeah, there's players out there that could. Bobby Wagner was one. Von Miller was one last year. Um, keeping Mari Cooper, where you could have restructured his deal. Instead of paying $6 million for him to go by, you could have done. This, again, proves that Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones – are full of it. You had the Rams the year before in the same situation. Yeah, they're having to jettison some players now. But they went to two Super Bowls in the last, what, five years? Winning one? From where I'm sitting at right now, I take that. But you don't have to go that full, you know, scorched earth policy and trading every pick for the future. All you need to do is make a couple of moves in free agency, not bargain basement shopping like we do. Getting legitimate talent. So, yes, (laughs) other teams and and it doesn't always work. You're, You're going to have failures out there in some of the guys that you sign. That's the risk that you take. There's no guarantee on a player in the draft, no guarantee on a player in free agency. But what I can guarantee you is if you don't play, if you don't enter, you're not going to win. And here is where the Joneses who used to take risks and go out and get the best players seem to be risk adverse. And don't follow along with this bull crap that we have that we're surrounding our guys with great talent when we have Noah Brown as our number two wide receiver and Michael Gallup, who probably shouldn't have started playing as soon as he did, was not ready to at wide receiver. Our wide receiver core was a disaster. Our offensive line for the last couple of years has been in shambles. So don't sit here and look and say, oh, it's just the quarterback needs to step up his game to take up the slack for everybody. You need to look at what the front office is feeding us, and that is some bull crap. And I can guarantee you this, with the Saints currently $18 million over the cap, they will be under the cap by the 15th and have Derek Carr, and I can guarantee you, They won't be done in free agency. Yeah. Other teams will take risk to try and get there. The Cowboys will just keep telling you, trust the process, and we know what we're doing. Well, what you're doing, hate to say it, it ain't working. It ain't working. All right, good people. We'll have more later as this day gets to be more and more interesting. Peace.